Okay. So for um, my next question, uh, it says uh, the RAST method uses CAMP4, which is C10H16O, to determine the molar mass of a compound uh, based on uh, freezing point depression. So um, when 2.5 grams, 2.50 grams of cortisone acetate are dissolved in 50 grams of camphor, the freezing point of the mixture is 173.44, and that of pure camphor is 178.40. And then it asks us to solve for the molar mass of cortisone acetate. Um, so our freezing point um, depression equation is just um, our freezing uh, point depression constant um, KF times our uh, molality of our solute um, where our molality is in moles of solute over mass of solvent. So that's that's important. So this is in moles per kilogram. Okay. So typically expressed in moles per kilogram. So that would be the M here. So our KF um, or M, I should say. So the M in our KF constant, so our KF is given as 40.0 degrees Celsius per M, or uh, 40.0 degrees Celsius per uh, mole per kilogram. Okay? Um, so, all right, so then our freezing point depression in this question is just uh, 178.40 degrees Celsius minus 173.44. So that's how much our freezing point dropped by. Uh, which co comes out to be 4.96 degrees Celsius. So we've dropped by 4.96. So then 4.96 degrees Celsius is equal to 40.0 times B. Um, where our B B is our uh, moles of solute over our mass of solvent. So our mass of solvent is 50.00 grams, or putting into kilograms, uh, 0, 0.0 kilograms. Okay, so that's our mass of solvent in kilograms. So putting this into our freezing point, um, so putting this in for our B up here, we would get 4.96 degrees Celsius and just doing some re rearrangement. kilogram is equal to our N solute over our mass of solvent. All right. And so then we can solve for our moles of solute. Which is then just 4.96. Um, degrees Celsius 
over 40.0. And so our degrees Celsius is going to cancel and multiplied by our uh, mass of our solvent. And of course, this kilogram here is going to cancel with that. Um, Must have, oh, right, it's per. Yeah, okay. And then the moles will actually pop out on top here. Okay. And so this comes out to be 0 0.00620 moles. Okay, so there's our moles of uh, solute. And now it asks us for the molar mass of our solute. So the molar mass is equal to um, the mass over the molar mass. And so these will all be solute as we're looking for the molar mass for our solute. Our mass is uh, 2.50 grams, which is given in the question over 0 0.00620 moles, uh, which comes out to be 403.226 uh, grams per mole. And rounding to our three significant figures, 403 grams per mole. Okay, so there's our molar mass for our cortisone acetate. If we check through the solution here, uh, so we can use the freezing point depression equation, and we get 403.23 uh, grams per mole, um, or rounded for significant figures, 403. So that's good. Okay.